David Malcolm's um, modeling shows that if you uh, if, if the loads stay within what it's designed for, and these are designed for class two wind speeds, that's a 155 mile an hour gust for three seconds. It's a 90 hour sustained wind for 10 minutes. It's a very significant uh, uh, event. And as long as the turbines don't go through too many events that exceed that, those kinds of loads, then the fatigue life analysis shows the turbines will last for 74 years. Um, and that, that's the blade and that's the part, but the other parts with the concrete foundation, the steel tower, the steel rotor, they can last for even potentially longer. Um, and then what happens is that year 20, we do a refurbishing. That involves probably taking off the drive shaft and then taking off the bearings, putting new bearings on, replacing the power converter, taking off the, the fiberglass transition fairings and replacing those. Some other uh, uh, costs that we expect will be around 15 to 20% of the original cost of the turbine. And then that'll run the turbine for another 20 years. At year 40, you do it again. At year 60, you do it again. And one of the things we know from dams and hydroelectric power is that when a uh, energy producing facility can last 50, 60 years, like the California dams are, man, the price per kilowatt hour drops dramatically. So the cheapest energy in the state of California are from people who have contracts or own dams. In this case, people who own wind, wind harvester turbines are going to see their generational cost for energy drop and drop and drop. So it's one of the interesting uh, benefits we have, but we haven't quite figured out how to monetize that benefit because the loans are 20 years and most people don't really care if a turbine lasts for more than 20 years. That's the life of the loan. And when these tall turbines are falling apart, in part because they're only trying to last for 20 years and not longer. And so they're trying to save a lot of material costs and then they're having trouble. But we're not gonna do that. We're just making a robust turbine that will last for 75 years and we'll figure somebody will value that.